Good news, everyone. I caught a squirrel. Bad news, there are witnesses. And now I'm on the lam. Time to delete my Instagram account. Okay, so Instagram recently changed this process and now you have to do this through the account center. So first, I go to my profile, tap the hamburger menu icon, then settings and privacy. Then account center. Here's where all your Instagram and Facebook accounts show up, including the ones where I pretend I'm a human. Next, tap personal details, then account ownership and control. Tap deactivation or deletion and choose the account you want to delete. Okay, now here it is. Choose delete account and tap continue. Then pick a reason why you're deleting. Tap continue and it wants your password. Okay, California dreaming. I hope uh, you guys cut that out. And uh, are you sure? Totally sure. Once my mind is set on something, nothing can distract me. Cookie. I want that cookie. Um, what were we doing again? Um, oh, yeah, deleting Instagram. Okay, okay. Then tap delete account. And then it tells you that you have 30 days to change your mind. Just follow the exact same process, but tap reactivation if you want to do that. How to delete your Instagram account permanently on Android. For this one, we go for a walk. Yeah! To the Apple Store. Because you can't delete your Instagram account on an Android device yet. Only some Android users can delete their Instagram accounts. You can check by going to the menu, settings, accounts, center, personal details, almost there, account ownership and control. Then the activation or deletion. If this doesn't show up, you could still delete your Instagram account on a web browser on your phone or your computer. To permanently delete your Instagram account from a computer or mobile browser, first, you gotta go to Instagram.com and log into your account. Instagram.com is, inst it's the website. Name of the website. Then you'll wanna type in this address, it's right there. I'll drop it in the description box below. Pick a reason for deleting your account. Type your password and good boy. Oh no, that's me, I'm the good boy. How to deactivate your Instagram account temporarily. If you need to just hide for a while, like the time I had to hide for a whole five minutes for eating all my owner's corn on the cob, you can deactivate your account instead of deleting it. There are two ways to temporarily disappear from Instagram. Number one, switch your account to private. Your username will still show up in search results and people who already follow you will continue to see your old posts and any new ones you make. If you want to switch to private mode, tap that juicy hamburger menu and go to settings and privacy. Then account privacy and toggle on the private option. Oops, business accounts can't be private. You gotta do your business in public, just like me. Number two, temporarily deactivate your account. Deactivating your account removes it from Instagram. You won't show up in search, even to people who followed you before but you can instantly restore your account, even years later. The process for deactivating your Instagram account is the same as deleting it. Just make sure to deactivate instead of delete. Like deleting, you can only do this from a web browser or the iOS app, not Android. Android users use a mobile browser instead. When it's time to reactivate your account, you just log back in. No one's going to care that you ate all that corn. I didn't post about it though. So I guess I didn't have to delete Instagram. Before deleting your account, download a full backup of all your Instagram data. You might want it someday to show your grandpuppies. Or maybe you're a bank and have to be compliant with federal regulations. It's just smart to back up your data sometimes. Like for example, I bury my bones in the yard. It's the same thing, it's just not on the internet. Heads up, all your data gets packed into a JSON file, JSON. It's there, but not easily readable with your human eyes. For me either, I'm a doc, by the way. But you can convert it to a CSV file with a tool like convertcsv.com. 
and open it in Excel. Much easier to find things. Your Instagram backup contains all of your likes, comments, message history, photo captions, hashtags, search history, and settings. Yep, your photos, stories, and videos are there too. But only as low res 1080p X, 1080p X files, FYI. I don't know what that is, but I'm reading it from a script. To make a backup, get that juicy burger, oh my gosh, then tap your activity, then download your information. How dare they make me say burger? I, I'm a, I need it. You'll get an email when your backup is ready to download. It could take up to 30 days. So give yourself plenty of time before you need to delete your account. Phew! Is it lunchtime yet? I've been saying burger multiple times. Um, and I'm starting to drool. If you want to make your job a little bit easier, go ahead and fetch your free 60-day Hootsuite trial right here. And if you're looking to grow your Instagram account, watch Akeem's video on Instagram growth next. All right, time to steal some lunches from the office fridge. Hopefully there's corn. Enjoy your barbecue. I'm assuming you're having a barbecue soon because it's summer. Goodbye.